welcome back to my channel. So today, <laughs> it's a very simple Spanish inspired makeup. So when I went to Spain, I got a lot of accessories and I got, um, I mean, what you can see, it's not a lot, but it's exactly what I'm showing the props out here. And a few makeup products that I, you know, got from Spain. You must have seen it in my Spain haul. It just breaks my heart to tell you that that sim card the first one in barcelona is missing so i'm just trying to work and put the pieces together and just create something that is slightly decent so when i went to madrid i went to this hidden flamenco bar and i saw this dancer in all her avatar there was an artist at the flamenco bar who was drawing her but he kind of he kind of drew uh, a lady for me he gave this lady who was supposed to be the one dancing similar features to mine she's definitely got my nose and i was wearing red lipstick that day and a red earring and that's what he drew look how beautiful it is she had a bright l red lip she had really well defined eyeliner it had a little bit of a uh, white on the waterline and she had a lot of artificial lashes but that bold red lip and i'm wearing my red lip of the moment she had a lot of shimmer she tied her hair she had a rosa uh, right here a huge rose actually she had three of them i've just added one and that's about it i'm going to apply this one i really don't know how to you know say the name of it and i don't want to butcher french ac in a bottle that's what i call it it just refreshes your face it's a really lovely cooling mist and this is what I got from Spain so now I'm taking this concealer the uh, Cryoland concealer this is the supra color and I think I'm in the shade yeah I'm in the shade 5w it's got an orange undertone just like the NYX uh, concealer that I use for my NYX one brand tutorial and I'm just going to apply that on the areas that require you know a little coverage so wherever there's darkness I'm just going to apply this orange tone concealer I've been breaking out a lot and I got to know that you know my breakout that is happening on this area is only because of my PCOS yeah that is something that I am dealing with at this very moment so there's nothing I can do but just to go with the flow I know this looks really crazy but once the foundation sets in it'll be all right now I am taking my uh, what is this called Compacto D-Light Plus SPF 2503 this is their version of you know the cushion foundation yeah so I you guys know that the compact version of the D-Light Plus is something that is my ultimate favorite I have been using a lot of it ever since I came back from Spain and right now I'm just using the cushion foundation can you see that it sets really really well guys now again I'm mentioning I'm not a makeup artist I'm only recreating what I saw when I saw the flamenco dancer and she had a makeup of this sort and I was like shit I have to create that and now I'm just going to take this compact that I love the D light plus I'm in 03 this is polvo facial compacto whatever it's called I got this from you know Mercedona or Mercadona I still don't know the name guys but if you're going to Spain, that's the supermarket to go to and get their, you know, just go and get their makeup. And what I noticed that the makeup that she had, she had a very beautiful brown smoky eye going on. I'm taking my favorite modern renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I am going to start out with warm taupe right here. And looking directly, I'm just going to insert that over here on the crease, the socket right here, and I'm going to blend that. 506 brush, the Morphe very tapered brush, I'm going to take this Cypress Umber, this brown shade, and I'm going to apply that on the center of my lids. And I'm taking the taupe and I'm just going to clean the edge now to give my crease a little more definition I'm going to go for this red eyeshadow right here now I'm just going to take the next micro black eyebrow pencil and on the other end it has a spoolie so I'm just going to shape that before I you know draw into it
I'm going to take a little bit of this tempera shade, the little earbud. I'm just going to apply that right here on the brow bone. For my wing line, I'm going for the Inglot 77. I swear, Inglot has the blackest eyeliner gel, guys. Now on the bottom lashes, I'm going to apply this wing as well. So right here, I'm going to go a little below the waterline, all right? Now I shall darken this with an eye pencil, all right? And the eye pencil of my choice always, always is Perversion. Now I'm just going to apply that on my waterline. So bloody creamy, you guys. But I'm leaving the out, so I'm leaving this side. And I'm just going to apply that on my upper waterline. So I'm going to now take my nude pencil, apply that here. Now I'm taking the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and applying that to my lashes and bottom lashes. So before going for some artificial lashes, I'm going to really define my cheekbones more than usual because with my NYX Wonder Stick Contour in deep, I'm just going to deepen that contour of mine. With the highlighting end, I'm going to put that on the middle of my nose and blend it. I'm going to put it right here. And just clean that out, alright? Okay, the blush I'm applying is the Double Dare. So I'm going to apply some artificial lashes and I'm going to just do my hair with a little flower and I shall be right back. Before I go, let me uh, apply just a little bit of highlighter, the one from PAC, which is my absolute favorite. Bro, when the light hit that lady's face when she was dancing, she was just shining all through. But since I have textured skin, I can't go to town with this. Now for the thing that I am most happiest about, a bright red lip, because every Spanish flamenco dancer has a very bright lip. I'm starting off with my Rimmel. This is full color lip liner, Exaggerate 024 Red Diva. Now I'm going to take my favorite red lipstick. This is the Sephora 01, the classic red, I think. Beautiful red. So I did have the lipsticks that I got from Spain, but those are all the terracotta nudes that I picked up. I did not, uh, unfortunately, pick up a good red lipstick. So that's why I'm applying the Sephora one. This is my favorite, favorite formula. And I have done a video on my top 12 favorite uh, Sephora cream lip stain. If you are my skin tone, any brown skin tone girls can definitely check out that. And this, you guys, completes my very simple to achieve Spanish Senorita inspired makeup look. I hope you really enjoyed this. This has been a look that has been haunting me for quite some time and I'm glad I got it out of the system. Don't forget to subscribe and say hi to me on all my social media platforms. And for your viewing pleasure, all of my old videos are there in the info bar. So please do check it out. And especially my last video, which has been received so well by all of you. Thank you so much. It was based on you know the Instagram beauty gurus but thank you it was done and all in good fun and at the same time it was a very important topic for me to discuss I hope you enjoyed watching that I shall see you very soon in my next and until later 